You read the title of the video, this is Welcome to Top 5 Commanders from Jumpstart 2022. Let's get right into it with number 5, Ashcoat of the Shadow Swarm. 3 and a black, legendary creature Rat Warlock. Whenever Ashcoat of the Shadow Swarm attacks or blocks other rats you control, get plus X plus X until end of turn where X is the number of rats you control. At the beginning of your end step, you may mill 4 cards. If you do, return up the 2 rat creature cards from your graveyard to your hand. 3-4. This is super cool because it works on so many different axes. You can go hard into Rat Tribal and bring down the beat down with rats. Then we get to mill, dumping a bunch of cards into our bin. Even if you don't want to run rats, the self mill is super strong to fill up our bin for reanimation effects. All in all, pretty good. Speaking of reanimation, our next commander specializes in it big time. Number 4 is Rodolph Duskbringer. 5 and a black for a legendary creature vampire angel, flying death touch lifelink. Whenever you gain life, Rodolph Duskbringer gains indestructible until end of turn. At the beginning of your end step, you may pay 1 and a hybrid white or black. When you do, return target creature card with mana value X or less from your graveyard to the battlefield where X is the amount of life you've gained this turn. 4-4. Four, four. This commander plays on a new combination of themes we haven't really seen used together before. We have to gain a bunch of life, which can be really strong in commander on its own. Then, we get to bring back our best creatures. But, don't underestimate gaining 3 life and getting a life gain card back to keep the engine going. Doesn't always have to be a giant beater to help us close out the game. Number three is Knessos, Priest of Thassa. One in a blue for a legendary creature, Merfolk Cleric. If you would scry a number of cards, scry that many number of cards plus one instead. Three in a hybrid green blue. Look at the top card of your library. If it's a Kraken, Leviathan, Octopus, or Serpent creature card, you may put that card onto the battlefield. If you don't put that card onto the battlefield, you may put it on the bottom of your library. 1-3. Yet another card playing on the Kraken, Leviathan, Octopus, and Serpent Tribal we've been seeing more and more of lately. Then, built-in Increase to Scry makes manipulating the top of our deck a breeze, and we are in the perfect colors in order to ramp into our big beaters if we can't get our commander to stick on the board. Number two is Runati the Behemoth Caller. Two and a green for a legendary creature Cat Shaman. Whenever you cast a creature spell with mana value five or greater, that creature enters the battlefield with X additional plus one plus one counters on it, where X is its mana value minus four. Creatures you control with three or more plus one plus one counters on them have haste. Tap, add green, one three. This card is one of my new favorite commanders to recommend to new players. It's monocolored, so they don't need to worry about playing the right lands. It ramps on its own, helping us get to big beaters, and it gets to play massive creatures to trundle in with. Seriously, if you have a friend that wants to get into this game, this commander is a really solid choice. Number one is Preston the Vanisher. Three and a white for a legendary creature rabbit wizard. Whenever another non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control, if it wasn't cast, create a token that's a copy of that creature, except it's a zero-one white illusion. One and a white, sacrifice five illusions, exile target non-land permanent. Two five. If the number two was great for new players, this is the opposite end of the spectrum. Trying to wrap your head around flickering and reanimation and creature types and activated abilities is so much for new players, but for those of us who have been playing a bit longer, this is such a cool commander. It does something that we haven't really seen in white before, and gives you access to a bunch of the strongest cards in your deck. I had a deck deck for this recently that I would recommend watching if you have more interest in the commander, but even if you don't want to check out that, you should still check out Preston. And that's it! That's the list! Did I miss anything? If so, let me know down in the comments below. If you like this video, why not give it a like? And if you really like this video, you can always subscribe to my Patreon or even just my channel here. Either way, I hope you have a wonderful day.